Wow. Pencils down. down. Wow. Pencils. Ho, ho, ho. You see that? Even Bam. Put it. Put it. Andrew's Apple one. It's down. Throw it. Down. Throw it. Throw and it. And there it is. That concludes Ramble 365. Thank you all Done. for listening. I was comedian Jerry Rocha. That Eddie right Pence, there, it's been a good Eddie, one. We've man, we had a great run. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. Cody Viafania is not going to be with us today. Oh, he's got a lot going on, dude. They, Jim Jordan. Well, he's trying to he's trying to whip up some votes. Yeah, he's got to get some votes going for this. It's it's it, ooh, he's just uh the the hardest working man in the alt in the alt right world. I think might be. Might he be. might be the hardest might working be. man in the alt right kingdom. Is is Cody the So we have That's to get him about twenty votes to whip up. He's it, get boy, it. he's got to get that going for his boy for old, JJ. Uh, no old, jacket, JJ. For no jacket, JJ. For Mister, I didn't see anybody get raped in this in this wrestling team. But I protect the kids. But protect children. <laughs> but I didn't see anyone get raped. What are you all, all right. crying about? All right. Nothing no hypocritical there. No, not for no, no. not for Mister Nasal <laughs> Nasal Mouth himself, Jim Jordan. <sighs> oh God, here we go, mm. Eddie. We're three sixty five, and that's something. Are we? Isn't that that's something? something? That is Isn't something. That ain't that some shit? Ain't Can that I... a thing? Ain't yeah. that a thing? Real quick, you can email us ramble at the ramblepod dot com. We're on Twitter at podcast sure. ramble number right. one. Instagram at podcast ramble. I got a blue sky invite. Should I go ahead and create a Ramble Blue Sky page in case well, both see, take off? I get. I mean, I got a Blue Sky invite too, and I, I got it, and I was like, and I went to go fill it out. I'm like, I don't want to fill all this shit out. I'm done with this. <laughs> I, just, I didn't done. even care. Like, I don't I'm like done. what's the fucking point. I'm done. Instagram. I don't know. Podcast Ramble. YouTube. The Ramble Team at the Ramble Team. That's where we're at on YouTube. So follow us on all that. We have merch. We're back at 100, 138 five star uh, yeah. ratings. Brian yeah. uh, Hill, Seahawks fan. He's, back. He's the king again. Now, look. Why? Why isn't? And huh. Eddie is just, I'm, yeah. I'm just, I have a small bone to pick. And okay. maybe I haven't been paying attention. Today got something enough. in your craw. Something I got in your something crawl. in my craw here. And it's, it's football meteor. Okay, the meteor okay. that covers the. Why are we not? Why is Justin Herbert? What he can't get it done? Why can't? Why are we not talking about this? Well, so Dak throws an interception. He sucks. You can't win with him. Right, Herbert. What happened? He had the game. He all he had to do was drive down to get a field goal. They tie the game. He throw an interception. Why are we not talking about how he folded? Why? Well, why is he not a choke artist when it matters most? Well, that's all you, I'm asking. I, I will counter your argument by saying. Okay. All right. There is no more position more scrutinized in sports than, Dallas Cowboys than quarterback, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. You're right. No I one know. gives a fuck about, about the quarterback Hurt. of the Los Angeles Chargers. Not in, even when they were saying, look at all the failing Phillip Rivers got away with. You know what I yeah. mean? No <laughs> one gives a shit about the Chargers. It, it was a home game on Monday night for Dallas. Right. Do you hear the audience? Yeah, because no one gives no a one fuck. Gives a fuck. That's no why. one gives a fuck. So okay. yeah, I agree. Okay. I, there is, there is. I get it. Herbert should get his share of criticism and blame, but again, no one gives a fuck. Because everyone's like, "Oh, Herbert's about legit. the Chargers. He's a legit guy. Herbert's the real deal." Her okay, well then, fuck you, know you can't beat you can't beat that. Dallas was on the ropes after that San Francisco game. San Francisco tore their hearts out. They and were. You can't tell me that if, and, oh, if he's legit, if he's a real deal, and his had, offensive coordinator's looking for payback. Had the Cowboys had a tougher opponent than the Chargers, they, they probably lose. would have lost. They, they lose. lose that game. They lose because they were they were that dude. I, as a diehard Cowboy fan, I am I am willing to tell you the season ended in that San Francisco game. I have no problem going. Yeah, that well, probably ripped their hearts problem, out. Your and, problem with the Chargers is they're they're coached by that Staley dude who is like Mister Analytics. He's and terrible. that's why he's going for on fourth and three from inside the 10. He's not kicking the field goal in the first half. When all they needed was a field goal to tie the game. If he does I think he that, did that, it's a tie game. He's. I think he did that twice during the game. There was a situation where it was like, yep. just kick the fucking field goal and here. I think, they, I think they came up empty both fourth, fourth they down did. twice. It, it, all because analytics say go for the touchdown for there. Stupid. And here's the one thing I told uh, a buddy of mine. Because I was worried that just I was not not so much that the Chargers were going to be this juggernaut, but I was worried that since San Francisco beat the shit out of them, they were probably it might take them a few weeks to 
get any kind of confidence, yeah. anything back, right? Yeah. That's why I thought the season might be over because if Philly keeps winning, they're not getting the division, right? And if Washington is doing fine, so they could take the wild card. And so that's why I thought mm, this this might be it. That San Francisco game might have ripped the hearts out. But um, what I, one thing I told my friend, and I said, like, look, it's just remember a Kellen Moore revenge game. <laughs> It still means it's Kellen Moore. So there's that. There's, yeah. There's, it's like that line in LA Confidential when he thinks it's that prostitute made to look like Lana Turner, but it's really her. <laughs> and he's like a whore. Got to look like Lana Turner. Still just a whore. <laughs> it's like that is, but that uh, a revenge game orchestrated by Kellen Moore. It's still it's a game. Still Kellen, Kellen Moore. Moore. So I'm not, I wasn't yeah. terribly worried. But yeah. I, I, that's all I'm saying is that's why it's like, yeah, there's if Dak had thrown if if it was reversed and the Cowboys were down whatever it was 17 14 yeah. that and he would have been lambasted today for sure. It would have, first take would have been an hour. The first hour right. is but should the Cowboys get rid of Dak again? It's the quarterback of the it's Dallas the, Cowboys the job, compared to the, the quarterback get it. of the Los Angeles Chargers. The team, no one. The Chargers could win a Super Bowl tomorrow. And no one will give a fuck. And they'd have to have the parade in San Diego because yes. L.A. wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> they would not give a – They if, would not give a fuck. If USC or UCLA both get in bowl games, that 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 they would take that yeah. over the Chargers or Rams winning a Super Bowl. Dude, that's that's the week. only reason no one's giving, talking about Herbert because no one gives a shit. Right. It's, it's just, no I'm just, I ain't, just saying. I ain't saying. I'm just saying. I know I you're just saying, saying just but saying. just understand the Cowboys get more oh, scrutiny it's the than microscope. the Chargers. It's, there's yeah. no bigger microscope. It's yeah. That's the and it's that's that's the only problem with the Cowboys being America's team because even when they suck, every week every team wants well because everybody wants to bury them. Fuck out of them. They everybody want wants to bury them. Eat the shit. Yeah. It's like hey, we beat the Cowboys. Fuck yeah. That's it's. I mean, right. would Ron Rivera? Would he ever be in jeopardy if y'all went two and fifteen every year, but both games he shut out the Probably Cowboys not. like seventy five to nothing? <laughs> it's a vicious, it's a vicious cycle of wanting to beat the Cowboys and then the Cowboys win and they talk mad shit and then you want to beat the Cowboys so you talk. Right. It's just this vicious cycle. Yes, it never ends. Never ends. It never ends. Whoever never went ends. like the Cowboys talk mad shit like fucking. Micah Parsons gets blown out by the Niners. He's like, just trust, just trust. Yeah. I'm like, it's okay. Like, what are you? What are you trusting? Trust what, dude? You, you got, got hand your ass handed to you. You all got beat. Right, but then he beats the Chargers, the team they should beat, and he's talking right. shit. Like it just—it never ends. It never. It never ends. ends with them. It never ends. It never it's, ends. It's the Michael Irvin first down celebration. I get caught up one and a half yard pass. And yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's Ezekiel Elliott getting four yards. They're still and they're still and in their own territory, feed me. and he still <laughs> gets a four yard run on third and six. And he's like, "Fucking feed me." <laughs> That's the punting unit coming up. <laughs> so it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> oh fuck! Um, so yeah, here we are. Um, you know, here it I, is. Ed, do we just do we go eight minutes? Fuck yeah, dude! Seconds. Fuck yeah! All just right, jump if in. You, <clears throat> if you know the words, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to. <clears throat> probably should have gotten <laughs> some tea before this one. I don't know if I'm going to hit this, but we're going to try. Okay. Okay. You ready? If you know the yeah. words, sing along. Look at us, baby, up all night, tearing our love apart. Everyone, weren't we the same to people who live through years in the dark? Oh, every time I try to walk away, something makes me turn around and stay. And I can't tell you why. I can't tell you why. There we go. Ramble 365. Mm. Eagles. Oh, you can't say something controversial. Yeah. That's their best song. There it is. I said it. Okay. That's their best song. It's not hard That's to do. Their best song. All their songs eat ass. That's their sure. best song. <laughs> oh, that's their best one. Right there. Here we are. Ramble 365. We're here. The catch up, Eddie. So I told you about I told you about rolling the ankle, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I found out what it was. So went to went to the urgent care. They gave me the boot, sure. all that kind of right. shit. They told me 
that they act that's only about that's a x-ray it's a, my, frac- it's a fracture it says a micro fracture that probably been there for 20 years yeah 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 i was like oh great well that's that's a bummer first bone i'd ever broken you right. know <laughs> way back when way to go okay i'll take that then you're you and greg odin the same <laughs> durable durable Ter- and then i went and uh, i go to um i go to an orthopedic specialist Okay. And oh my God, I want to work on a bit about this. The balls on these people. I looked him up just to see. Yeah. Um, I looked at and then his Yelp thing came up. And the first thing was a one star rating. And it was oh. like, hey, oh. so rude. <laughs> I was like, rude. Who, what, are you, what are you, five? Do you need Patch Adams to come in here and dance for you? You fucking idiot. Like, who, I don't give a fuck if a doctor, if he amputated the wrong foot. Then you leave the bad rating. Right. <laughs> rude. Fuck if he's rude. So I, but I'm going in thinking, is this guy going to be a motherfucker? You know? Right. And the nicest guy walks in super friendly. He's just blunt. He, so he looks at the x rays yeah. and he goes, who the fracture? And I was like, yeah, that's a, who the hell looked at these? And I'm like, oh, it's urgent care. Ah, of course. No. He goes, that's not a fracture. <laughs> he's like, he goes, that's, he goes, that's just a bunch of cartilage, man. And he goes, hey, let me guess. Uh, in your 20s, I bet you played basketball a bunch with your buddies, rolled your ankle a bunch. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's all that tells me. It's fine. He goes, it's not a fracture. He goes, it's just he goes, just a buildup of calcium. If it becomes bothersome, we can remove it. It's not going to be a big deal. They just looked at me, and he goes, oh, man. He goes, yeah. He looked at my ankle, and he goes, so you a football fan? And I'm like, yeah. He goes, besides like a blown ACL, what's the last thing you want to see from your wide receiver? Like a high ankle sprain? Bingo! He goes, that's what you got. He goes, it's a high ankle sprain. You probably need to rest this for a few more weeks. I was like, okay. Like he was, and then, but then I had a, I had a, a little wrap on that Andrea got me at CVS. Yeah. And he's, he's like, what's that? I was like, oh, it's a wrap. I think sucks. We're gonna get you a good one. <laughs> Okay. Like, so if but if he does all that with a red nose on, he's friendly. He's fine. As long as he's got like a fucking, he's got personality. He's got a mo from the Three Stooges wig. He's okay. Oh fuck! Yeah. Could you? And I look. I was thinking about this. How annoying would it be to have Patch Adams be your doctor? I'd be like, will you oh, just fuck. take that fucking shit off? And tell me what's wrong with my knee. Like, that's all I want. Just here. Look, you're going to shove a camera up my ass. Just do it. You don't need to do it. Like, like walking around dressed like a fucking, like, Groucho Marx. We're good. Jesus oh. Christ. But, yeah. Anyway, so. Now, was, would you have uh, given him one star? He's like, where'd you get that? So it's a wrap my girl, my girlfriend got me. Oh, you she's leave a fucking that bitch. whore. She's, she's a fucking bitch. whore. <laughs> a fucking whore. I know what she's doing. You know, here's what you do. Tell her next time. Tell her to get that prick out of her mouth and find you a real fucking rap. <laughs> then do you get a one star on that like, one? Maybe or five. Like this guy tells it like it is. This guy, he's all right. This guy's all right. This guy tells it like it is. <laughs> that fucking skank. That's what you get for dating the whores. Jesus Christ. Bring her in here. Let me smack her around for five minutes. Okay, okay Jesus. It was like, but man, I'm telling you, dude, I blame Subway. I really think it was Subway sandwiches that caused all of this problem. Really? Where it was because they were the first place. Remember, like I felt like a ball buster, being like, "Can I get no onions on my Big Mac?" Right? I felt yeah, like yeah. Uh, Subway, whatever you want. Yeah, you're and making now, it from scratch. Fucking babies. Everyone's a fucking crybaby who has to leave a Yelp review. Telling you, I blame Subway. They started all this. Might just, have something there. Might just have take what there. the defense gives you. Enough. <laughs> like, enough. Like, that's... Well, you know what? Fucking take the pickles off your goddamn self. Just do it yourself. Just, just do, do it yourself. Your fucking self. It's not that hard. I, I mean, I ain't saying. I'm just saying. I ain't saying. Mm. I'm just saying. Just Honey, saying. how you doing? Did you hear our little rant about it? Kind of funny if the doctor had said that. No. You're not amused. <laughs> no. Well, tell Dick Breath to get you better... <laughs> While she was turning tricks, I was in med school. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it must be nice to fuck black guys to piss off daddy. But look, 
<laughs> what are you talking about, dude? He's just letting it all out. He's just like, what the fuck is this? It's just a fucking ankle wrap. It's, just... it's an ankle wrap. <laughs> <laughs> just loses his mind. <laughs> like, okay. We're telling Combrath not to come around here anymore. <laughs> God. When she comes, she comes in here. Tell her to put on a COVID mask. Why are you not vaccinated? No, I just want to smell that cum on her breath. <laughs> okay, dude. Jesus. What? <laughs> just an ankle wrap. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god! Oh yeah! <sighs> okay, is that the title? You tell cum breath. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh jeez! You tell Cumbrat to stick to dicks. I'll stick to medical advice. <laughs> <laughs> tell Cumbrat what he's talking. <laughs> like no wonder this guy got fucking one star on Yelp. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh god! <sighs> oh. There it is. Huh. Mm. Have you been, man? So I, I look. I'm kind of mm. happy Cody's not here because I don't want him to think this is gloating. You know what I mean? I don't want him to think yeah. this no, right here. Don't. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm not. I'm just happy. Can I just be happy that my baseball be happy. team that has sucked in my entire life? Yeah, they had one World Series, a couple of decent runs, 15 years ago, and they right. went back to sucking. And now, God damn, they're fucking six wins away from the whole thing. Let me just enjoy right? it. Let me enjoy just it, man. enjoy it. Houston's they're had them. their glory. They've Fuck had it. it. They've seven, they've, seven some American deserved, some cheated. What row. they've some gotten it. So they got it all. They cheated they some. They got some for real. Let them right. have it. They had theirs. I'm just excited. I don't. I dude. I. I'm telling you, you guys are the Nationals of 2019. God, I hope. I hope it's man. got that feeling. It's got that well, feeling. I, here's why. At least I'm I, I'm less scared about. I'm still scared, obviously, given the two teams. Because again, Houston's built for this. Yes. But the Rangers, the fact that they took Game One from Verlander in Houston. Yeah. And if you looked at the line, you would have thought Houston won. If somebody didn't tell you the score, it just told you right. what Verlander his ERA, and you'd be like, oh shit, Rangers probably yeah. smoked. But the fact that they won two nothing is, man, I, I don't think there's anything. In baseball, is that probably the most important game is to beat the ace at the beginning of a series? Isn't yeah. that like the, you know, and then That's they survive. Yesterday, they survived Alvarez going fucking hitting two homers on him. I, I was like, Jesus. So I'm taking it. I'm taking it. We'll Take see. it, man. Take it. We'll see what happens. Mm. But um, here we go. So uh, it's, it's time for another more. But everything good in your world, though, right? Everything's sweet. Just, right. you know, killing it. Just killing it. So you're going to get Colton that uh, fucking Star Destroyer? What is that? That Star Destroyer Lego thing? I saw that. So let me just give context to uh, our, our our lovely audience. So yeah. the other day I was at the mall um, and I go and I walk past a Lego store and there is a, that's a cool thing about the Lego store is like, I guess it's quarterly. They'll have a display in their window of like yeah. the next big project that's coming out from Lego. Yeah. And what is this? It's it, what is this from Clone Wars, the Star Destroyer? Yeah, it's the Clone <laughs> Well, it's the yeah, it's the Clone Wars Revenge of the Sith. It was that you know the the Venator class uh Yes, Star who's Destroyer, was that? Who who who's main? Was that the one that that they attack at the beginning of Last Jedi? I don't remember. No, those are the Rep those are Republic ships. Those are all oh, Republic okay. ships. Right, right. Okay. Okay. That's and then so, once the Republic turns the Empire, they slowly they, morph they into them in the, the Star, Star Destroyers. Destroyers. Right. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Thing's so, massive, dude. Are you gonna get it? Are you gonna try to get it? <sighs> I don't. It's like what is it's it? It's like seven. It's like seven hundred. Oh. Bucks. It's like six ninety nine. I can't. I can't do that. And I got no room in. There's no room to put that Who's fucking thing. Put that fucking thing. I don't know. God. He also man. wants. He also wants. He also wants. Uh, I can't. He's in the other room. He wants a uh, oh. Rivendell too. Rivendell. Have you What's seen the Rivendell set? Yeah. What's That's that not as bad. I think that one's like three ninety nine. That one's a more okay. manageable. Right. I think three nine or four ninety nine. But <sighs> man, so for that, Christmas, I'm thinking about doing that. But that Star Destroyer looks fucking. I, I, there's just it's fucking massive. Think they'll do a Thrawn one? I would love to see that beat up Thrawn one 
that would beat be up dope. what Braun has in Ahsoka with all like the little gold pieces. Yeah, like, fucking it. toe up that toe up Star oh, Destroyer toe up. that he's got. Mm. Be fucking sick. Uh, but here's um, yeah, get it's goosebump moment of the day, Eddie. Sure. And you know sure. what, my something I've been thinking about for the past week. Yeah. And I just remember seeing this for the first time in the theater, experiencing this for the first time in the theater was okay. one of those moments. Like, so the first one that the first, the first time I remember seeing a giant pop in a movie theater. Yeah. Right. Was, uh, I should not have been taken to see it. <laughs> Aliens when I was like eight right. or whatever. <laughs> and Sigourney Weaver comes out in the thing, the get away from yeah. her, you bitch. And the you power bitch. <sighs> I that was the first time because I Star Wars I saw at home. I was, yeah. I, you know, so the whole. No, I got, I got, I was there for the Han Solo pop when he's like, woo. We did it. Came let's, out nowhere. Get, let's blow this thing and get out like that. See, I, 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 that I got that. I got that in person. That was cool. Oh, and then um, I'm trying to think the next, the other major pops I remember before Avengers, before Marvel, yeah. right? All yeah. the major pops, BM, before Marvel, <laughs> Foul Movement. I, I think it was. Of course, it was Jurassic Park when the T Rex shows up at the end. Right, right, right. Saves right. him. You know, like that was a great one. Um, they, they, oh, you know, the only time there was a pie when Sally seen... Fields opens the door and Robin Williams is dressed as Miss Doubtfire. Huge. 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 In Boogie Nights, when Mark Wahlberg takes that fake dick out at the end, just massive. Yeah. <laughs> As when uh, they close the door on Kate at the end of the Godfather, <laughs> they just shut the door on her as he's being sworn in as the new Don. Huge pop. Uh, and yeah, but one that I always thought about again. This is I remember, dude. I don't know if you remember this, but the trailer for Unforgiven. I remember like there was yeah. a pop. Because it, 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 the first like ten seconds, you don't know who's in it, and then that yeah. that that young kid's like, well, "You don't look like much of an outlaw or whatever." And then right. Eastwood just kind of turns around. I remember like, "Oh, that was that yeah, got a big a cool pop." Moment. And then, uh, but um, dude, I was thinking it wasn't a pop, but mm -hmm. it was just a oh god. I remember just the entire the energy in the theater at the beginning yeah. of Terminator Two, yeah. when Sarah Connor's voiceover says. Just as before, right? The resistance was able to send a lone warrior, a protector for right, John. Right, right. It was just a question of which one would reach him first. And then, bum, 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 bum. Like, oh, um, God. Just, I remember just thinking, like, oh, there's no way this is going to suck. Right? Yeah. Like, I remember thinking, holy shit, there's no way this is going to suck. And then the, da -da 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 -da, like, oh, shit. Then just, wasn't that the opening credits? Is just all the apocalypse, just the fire. Yeah. Just, oh, shit. It was. Whoo! That was that was good. So That's good shit. Good because what I don't remember, what I'm foggy on was, did we know that Schwarzenegger was the good guy before the movie came out? I think we did. There was like I, a hint, right? I think the trailer it was. I think it. I think the trailer showed right. him come with me if you want to live. I yes, mean, I think there was enough right. yes. stuff there. So then yeah. we knew this this time around, Schwarzenegger was the good guy. I right. think that was we did know that. And I, man, I think one of the most genius things about that movie, since they are robots, was just watching Robert Patrick, who what, gives up like 200 pounds to Schwarzenegger, just yeah. beat the ever living shit. I was fucking awesome. Like, that was yeah. just how cool that was. Just it's a great movie. Watching him. I mean, but I remember that opening, it was only a question of which one would reach him first. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, dun, dun, dun. God. Good I shit. still get goosebumps thinking about that shit, man. So good. Mm. How about you? Do you have a do you have a do you have a goosebump? Before? Mine's a lesser film. Mine's a lesser film. Not, Children not of a Lesser quality. God. There's a huge pop in Children. <laughs> <laughs> when Julia killing Roberts field. dies the, in Steel Magnolia. The killing, the, the killing field. Killing field. Um, no, this was uh, <laughs> this was uh, a pop in Steel Magnolias when Julia Roberts dies. Like ah! Would fucking Thumb and Louise go over the cliff? Yes. Um, no, this was uh, uh, the Legend of the Lone Ranger. Do you remember that movie in the Fuck early eighties? Yes. Do, do, okay. do, do you remember the toys? Were, they were oh, I had all the toys. Great action figures. Great yeah, action man. figures. 
Yeah. I was a huge Lone Ranger fan when I was when I was a child. Yeah. And I remember I saw that movie in the theater and I loved it so much. My grandfather took me. Oh, that's great. And we watched it. We watched a matinee of it. And I loved it so much. I was like, I don't want to leave. And this is when you could stay in the movie theater. Yeah, you should and watch it, just, it again. And that's what my and my grandfather was like, he didn't give a shit. He was just he was right. probably took a nap halfway through the thing. He's like, Yeah, we could stay. <laughs> so we stayed and we watched it again, right? Oh man. And I probably saw that movie six or seven times in the theater oh. when I was a kid. And there's the one scene because if you watched, I watched the movie like a couple years ago, and it know, hold up. doesn't necessarily no, it doesn't hold up. <laughs> but because you go 45 minutes before you see the Lone Ranger, like it, yes, you go almost halfway right. through the movie right. before you see the Lone Ranger. Now this is a and, one and done one for me, but I remember as a kid loving it. I remember. Oh, I loved loving it. Loving it. Fucking yeah. loved it. And yeah. I, I watch it. I still have nostalgia for it. Christopher Lloyd's the bad guy. It's amazing. That's right. And. uh uh, Cavendish, Bill Cavendish, I think is Christopher Lloyd's oh, character. Yeah. Anyway, um, so there's a scene where it's after they have they slaughter all the Rangers, right? And then Tonto takes and heals the Lone Ranger and mm -hmm. teaches him how to shoot with both hands and shows him the silver bullet and all the lore of the Lone Ranger is bestowed upon this guy. And so you see him. You have you still haven't seen the Lone Ranger. You just still see the guy, right, right. normal guy, whatever. And he's on the he's on a mountaintop and he I guess he's at his brother's grave. And it's all a sunset, and he's all silhouetted, and you see him, and he's doing the voiceover of like how they're all dead, and he's you know his he's dead, and his brother's dead, and he's gonna get. I forgot what exactly he said in the monologue or the voiceover, but he stands up, and it's all silhouetted, and he, he puts the hat on, and he oh. turns around, he's got the yes. mask, and yes. William tells Overture kicks in. Um, but of um, but of oh. and I, fuck, I I still I goosebumps just now thinking about it. That's so good. I don't know why, you know what? That moment. I, Eddie, I'm not making this up. That's one of the few moments for that movie that I remember. Yeah. Right? That I remember. That was. Now, here's the question. I did not see the new one with Army Hammer and Johnny not Depp. Not, not good, good, huh? Not Tarantino, good. I remember, raved about it. Really? But yeah. Uh, I didn't think it was that good. I, my, my, I only saw it once. Maybe I have to watch it a second time. But I, I remember not enjoying it. But because I love The Lone Ranger. But like wow. that moment was just like. And I think it's because it took 45 minutes for us to see the Lone Ranger. Like they right, build it up right. so long and you finally see oh. it and the way they deliver it and they, and they nail you with the William Tell overture right then. So it's just good. like, so good, man. But th that's begging for a great movie. It's yeah, so really easy thought... to do how, how right. I mean, it's the story is so simple. It's right there. You just get a, a good guy who is in awful times who wanted to do the right thing. So they leave him half dead and then yeah. this native heals him and fucking brings him back. And now yeah. he's just this fucking vigilante. It's basically Batman in a Western. Yes. It's pretty much Batman in a Western. Just, But I think with the Lone Ranger, or Zorro. I'm not mistaken, I get Zorro. he has no memory, right? Like, he doesn't know who he was. Is that right? Uh, in the movie, he does. I don't know. I don't know. the. Right. I don't know if the original lore he doesn't know. But I. But because he knows he's getting revenge on the people that killed his brother and the rest of the right. Rangers. Right. Dum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Oh, so great. So. Oh, uh, well, um, I don't know if, uh, if you, I'm sorry about this, but we think we have another live, a live, uh, Trump rally. I think. Oh no. Okay. Oh feed. shit. Okay. Um, let me, let me hook, let me patch us in. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. You ready? I, I, what, what, actually, what's he talking about? What? Oh, you what know what he's oh, right I, I think he's talking about how they, they're, they're trying to bring he wants to bring Christmas back because apparently Christmas was gone. The war and, uh, on Christmas. The war on Christmas. The war on, on Christmas. Every, this everybody's happy mind. holiday shit. That uh, you and yeah. I, we get so mad. How many times do we just go to the mall and someone says happy holidays and you and I are just like, I, I have to hold you mind. back. I yeah. have a lot of times like Eddie. It's not worth it, Eddie. It's right. not worth it. So yeah, oh, I boy, he's gonna get that fixed. Thank God. Okay. All right. Well, here we go. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Gomez juggled. Nope. Narrow-minded bastards that they are, they still think you sometimes clamp electrodes on your cabeza. That's a head. That's what they call a head over in the world that Joe Biden wants to have come and take us over and have brain stim wet dreams, he says. You and me, of course, know how wrong they are. God damn it, Gomez. You know I use the stuff sometimes, he said, his voice rising. You knew that before I ever got picked up, but you also know I never sold tech or worked for the GLA dealers, and I sure as hell 
didn't sabotage the investigation of that Laguna sector connection. But boy, are they trying to make it look like I did, aren't they? It's an awful thing. It's a horrible thing what's going on with that deranged Jack Smith is telling everyone I sold tech and that I sabotaged the investigation over the Laguna sector. I was trying to bust them. That much we agree on. Gomez scratched his head for a while there, Jake. While I was still a minion of the law, I kept digging into your case on my own time. <laughs> what that had to do with it. I don't. <laughs> That's from uh, William Shatner's Tech Wars. With that, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I mean, it's just. I mean, I've never sat through an entire one of his rallies, but no. I know they go on for a few hours. A few hours. I, I didn't know that it's the the Tech War moment. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> but how was he trying to make the Tech War about him? Like that's. I mean, I, we like I said, be surprised. I got... No, we shouldn't be. But like I said, I've never watched one from beginning to end, so I don't know how he goes to where he goes or gets out of what he's been in. So, right. oh man! All I know man. is we need a leader like that, and that—that's more than ever. Ever, ever. We need that, that man be. back at the White House, just like Waka Flocka just reendorsed him. So that's good. oh, thank God. <laughs> Who? I was Thank getting God. nervous, Eddie. I was getting waka really, flocka, waka waka flocker. <laughs> oh man! Well, that's uh, that's huge. I I yeah. Biden's probably beside himself with how probably how do you come back from this? How do you come back from this? How do you come back? He should leave the White House now. Right now, pack up and Just leave. Concede it to him right now. Is on Trump's side. Um. Eddie, this is this is where it's going to be tough for us. Okay. I, are you ready for our darkest hour? <laughs> it's going to be tough. It's tough. Because I had a clear last week. I had a clear idea of what side I wanted to defend as the darkest hour. Yeah. And I think I made such good points. I even think I brought you. I might have brought you over to my side. You brought me over to your side. I right. now agree that uh, the the Owen Hart was was worse. <laughs> I ha, going on with the show after a dude dropped fucking dead is in worse the middle than middle of the mat of the in the ring. Right. So it, I, I was I, think, I like was able died in the locker room. No, like, I, I could kind of understand if he died in the lo- if he just passed he had like a fluke heart attack or some shit. Right. In the locker room. And they were like, oh, my God. And, and, and they just like, OK, just cancel that match. And then we announce it. The next Later. day, yeah. or the next night, or something. But this happened in front of everyone. He just died, and they were like, "Oh, another match." <laughs> hey, Jr. But, vamp. <laughs> like, we vamp for to... twenty. Vamp for twenty, Jr. <laughs> but it, like, I was like, I, I had the the I had the the thoughts and and the belief to back up my side. This one, I I don't know how I'm gonna. I don't know which side yep. I'm taking. I really yep. don't. Whew, this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough one. By the way, Charles Phillips took uh, Benoit, uh, our listener, okay. Charles Phillips. Sure, and, sure. Um, he has sure. a winner for this one. Okay, we'll get to it when we're done. But okay. Um, and Eddie, he also has a Charles Phillips. Our next ramble, mm-hmm. we are gonna take his his suggestion real quick. Oh, you know how okay. we do our Texas death matches? Yes, of course. He is he's calling for a Chicago street fight death match. Yeah. Oh, between everyone who's ever hosted the family feud <laughs> all in their prime. We have Richard Dawson, Rick, Ray Combs, Ray. Louis Anderson, John O'Hurley, Richard Karn, Steve Harvey, all in their prime. Ooh. Do they now do you think they should we'll, we'll talk about this more? Yeah, let's week. not let's not spoil it now. Yeah, do they think they come in rumble style or is it all at once? Are they just all in We'll there? have to we'll discuss that. Maybe that'll be how we talk about it. Yeah, you know, let's not how give that away. The winner, but thank you, Charles Phillips. We're taking that one, and that's coming down next week. This one, three doors down versus Creed. What is modern rock's darkest hour? And I look, I'm gonna preface it by shitting on two bands that are near and dear to our hearts. But okay. I blame Kurt Cobain's suicide and I blame Pearl Jam from shunning the mainstream. And I think that left the door wide open for this shit. They did I, us no favors. They, they did us did no us favors no with favors those, with the those two moves did us no favors. And like, you know what? Fuck the mainstream. We're out. We're just going to. Yeah. And it's like, you know, right. half of no code would have been a nice video on MTV. I'm just saying. Yeah. 
Just Half of saying. it would have been a nice little jingle to have pushed down your throat when you're driving. I mean, was no Try to get some no, radio play. Try to no get some radio codes, play. Not a bad record. I don't understand no. why you had to just be like, fuck it. Buy it if you want. We don't care. Um, <sighs> it, it So, but okay. This is Eddie. I'll, as much as it pains me yeah. to be on Creed's side with anything, I think Three Doors Down walks out as the shittiest moment, the darkest hour of modern rock. Because Creed, I think it's it, Creed is like the room. Like you can make fun of it while it's happening. Like you can, yeah. there's so many things you can make fun of right. while it's happening. Like, Three doors if down, you're aw- if you're aware it's happening, that's my argument with Creed. Right. If you're aware it's happening, you can make fun of it. <laughs> there might be some people watching the room going, "Oh, th- this is this is wait, this right. is a good. This is supposed this to be a good right. movie. This is okay." <laughs> it got him. Well, I really want to know why him and Lisa are at such odds. Like, yeah, why would it, you shoot yourself in the chest to kill yourself? That's interesting. That's an interesting oh, move. Fascinating. He's gonna wait. He's dead, but he's dry humping her dress. <laughs> Like it, I, I, I think Nickelback is somehow less annoying than Three Doors Down, and I mean, mm-hmm. I think if you put Kid Rock up against Three Door, Kid Rock is Neil Young at that point. That's, I mean, I just, I, I think they're that bad. I think I have to have. I think my darkest hour for modern rock, I think, uh. has to be Three Doors Down. Like it's okay. tough. Because Creed shouldn't walk away unpunished. No. Because no, you I can't. Mean, they, they, it's, it's, I mean, I'll tell you this. It's a close one. It's, you know, it's a hell of a fight. But I See, think Three Doors Down walks I, out as the, he, that is the darkest. Because there's nothing. Re- Creed, we can make fun of. We can make fun of Chuch and Richmond Flowers singing right. Creed songs in a hotel room. We can laugh at the worst halftime cowboy show ever. We right. arms wide open. Like it, but. But see, that, to, to me, that's my point for saying they are the darkest hour because we can openly make fun of them. We can. And it's so blatant. But And it's not just that we can make fun of them. There's right. a whole group of people that for a long time would listen to Creed and not realize how shitty it they was. It. They, they, boy, but both these bands moved some units. But I right. think Three Doors Down, I think they're unredeemable. You can't but I think people, make fun of it. I just think people 20 years later look back at Three Doors Down like, the people that really love Three Doors Down were sh- still look back at fondly at Three Doors Down. I just think people created just like, oh yeah, that's oh yeah, that was they just Creed. became oh, yeah. ironic even for their diehard it's, fans. Yeah, it's just like, oh yeah, oh, it, I know this. Is, I know this is shitty. I know this is shitty. Whereas Three Doors Down fans are like, forgive my God, <laughs> they're waving their flags. Well, you're not taking my gun. I mean, it's I, but it's so it's but it's literally like you know one dozen six. It's just, I. It's just half a dozen, one hand, six in the other. It's just I, like it's just. I go. You know, I don't. I'm. I'm gonna go with Creed just because I think, right. for a lot of us, we saw how shitty Creed was from the moment we heard them. But then I think yeah. the reason Creed was sneaky yeah. is they fooled a sort a certain group of the population. Because that first hit of theirs was terrible, but it you didn't. They they got the goths. They tricked yeah. the gods. Should've they tricked a lot of people. On a Sunday morning, I say, oh, should've been dead on right. Sunday morning. Like, the moment I heard them, I'm like, this is fucking this garbage. This is fucking awful. And then, but but I, mean, I, I was surrounded by people that like, this is a right. good song. What the fuck are you talking about? I know. And then I know, but- as time went on, they realized how shitty it was. So they were, Creed was able to like sort of sneak behind enemy lines right. and fool every, fool a lot of people. Let me tell you this. Can I tell you why one of my picks for three doors down? You just knew there was no fooling. Yeah, you just knew, like you. Either but knew but let you, me yeah. tell you that. That's that's why my pick. Here's another reason why my pick might is. I think I'm going to stick with three doors down here. Is who would my first superhero that I okay. just absolutely fell in love with is Superman. And I think I don't think anyone's different. You yeah. know what I mean? I, and they sure. ruined Superman. Well, I'm dead. I'm not where you still call me Superman. <laughs> you still got me Superman. <laughs> it's and then and here's why I think I go three doors down. It's 
They did. They did give a death blow to Superman. They I will, did. They they were the... I mean, worse than anything Doomsday did. They worse. just. And I another reason. True I kryptonite. Go, true. <laughs> I think another one is. I. <laughs> I think Creed. Three doors down. At if you go and see them live, mm -hmm. I think there's going to be more spousal abuse makeup dates than you'll see at a Creed show. A lot of I, lot of black eyes. A lot, lot of black. I'm sorry. Handprints on the arms. Lot right. Of grip marks on arms. <laughs> I got you three doors down tickets. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. I'll give him another chance. <laughs> oh, just forget it happened. Okay. Just forget it happened. Okay. Forget it happened. And then, and then they have their "we're back in love" moment during "I'm here without you, baby." Right. <laughs> and then he punches her in the car on the way home. You're right. You're probably right on this. You're probably I don't. Right know. I'm this. just gonna go. I have to go. I'm gonna go three doors down. You're probably um, right on this. <laughs> Charles Phillips, CP, seeps, seeps, seeps. He's Seeps. on your side. He goes. I give it to Creed. At least when they broke up, you had some good bands. I don't even know about that. Um, I'm not going to say any of the Creed side bands were worth the shit either. I, I'm not even going to, cause I didn't, I was, so I think I forgot the band. It's like, Oh, it's like the guitarist from Creed. Okay. See ya. I'm out. Thanks. <laughs> that's, that's all I need. Bye. Oh, all right. Well, I'll never listen to this. Now, <laughs> how do you light modern rocks? Darkest hour, be it Creed, be it three <sighs> goes down. I, can I tell you my fix? Okay. You have to have a watcher intervene and just have everyone collectively forget that james brown or the beatles ever existed like the walker the watcher just has to walk down and just wipe james brown and the beatles from all of our memory <laughs> so like we that. just know that that music bega began and ended with three doors down and creed, and creed like that you just have is to the take, end all be all you, of music you have to take james brown and just blip him out and the beatles and blip them out and okay. So it just it basically just went from classical music <laughs> to three doors down to three doors down Creed. So it was just this big 150 year gap. <laughs> that might be oh, it. That might be the I only way. The only way to light that darkest. That might well, be there, the only way. Well, there we go. And then um in closing, Eddie. Yeah. We'd like to talk about a Super Nintendo game <laughs> that should have been. I wrote this idea down on the, on a plane when I was flying back from a show. <laughs> and I thank God no one was sitting next to me because I started laughing just at the idea and I didn't want to look crazy. And I also didn't want anyone to look at my computer screen and see that I had typed for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Jerry Glanville's accepting your friends who have AIDS. That was what I... <laughs> I have no and, idea what kind of game that would be, but so, you're but renting the, the cover. That, the the cover, cover of the game is him in his black trench coat, right? He's in his black trench coat in in a. <laughs> I'm guessing some sort of dark alley, right? Like a street dark alley <laughs> with just like one light on him. But he still has the headset. But he still got the full 1980s headset on. <laughs> <laughs> and just a fresh bag of, he just he's like instead of a football he's tossing, he's tossing like a fresh bag of needles just like <laughs> just a fresh he's just handing out fresh unclean <laughs> needles to people on the streets oh god I mean I, that's because I was thinking like I don't know what kind of game it would be, but I, like maybe it's like a platforming kind of game, like Super Mario World, where the heroes like jumping, like disinformation. One level is just like dif disinformation being thrown at homophobes, like to tell him to not be friends with this if his friend for having AIDS. And like you said, the next level is just like a dark alleyway, you know, where you have to like you have to sift through needles. And then maybe like at the end of every level, <laughs> it's just got like. An image, like a 16-bit image <laughs> rendered of Jerry Glanville on the sideline. And it'll have like an eight-paragraph message about accepting your friends with AIDS. But then like, but all that you hear is like a quick sentence that he recorded. It'd be like, respect is a two-way street. <laughs> <laughs> friends are friends till the end. 
Are you are you scared of AIDS? Scared? Are you scared of AIDS? Don't be scared of AIDS. <laughs> I mean, I would or maybe, really... maybe, maybe yeah, the final hey, boss. Hey, maybe the yeah. maybe it opens up on like on a cut screen of of his good friend, maybe his assistant coach, dying right. in the hospital dying of AIDS, of and he's there by the by hospital bed, and now he's like, I gotta find a cure. So, so I can save all my friends. Sequel. So it starts up a sequel, and then the boss is Magic Johnson. Ah! And you got to defeat Magic Johnson to get the cure for AIDS. But Magic Johnson hasn't given his licensing for this game, so it's just player 20, uh, 32. It says guard, <laughs> Los Angeles guard. 32. <laughs> Los Angeles guard 32. Isn't it fun? Because <laughs> he hasn't given licensing for this game. <laughs> he was like, oh, what the fuck you know? I'm not going to fucking do that. No, I'm not going to be in this fucking game. I'm going to be the keeper of the AIDS <laughs> cure. Oh, God. I really I really hope that if this happened, Glanville had no <laughs> idea it was ha- like like the developers had a contract with him, but they couldn't get a football engine to work. So they're like, look, let's just do this. So they just laid it over like a fucking double dragon fucking game. <laughs> Jerry Glanville accepting your friends who have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, hey, you like you defeat the Jerry Glanville and Warren Moon are just teamed up <laughs> going. It's like Double Dragon is just Jerry Glanville and Warren Moon. You, you you get past the 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 junky alleyway and then you see again it's like a giant paragraph about about AIDS and acceptance, but then Glanville goes, looks like these guys are running and shooting something else. <laughs> <laughs> and and he's he, he's feeding Warren Moon the clean needles, and Warren Moon's throwing clean needles. You gotta throw clean needles into the junkies. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> oh, God. Woo! Oh, how quick do you play this game if it's announced oh, right now? Oh, instantly. Especially quick? if LA Guard 32 is at the it's end. LA Guard 32. Los Angeles <laughs> <laughs> Guard 32. Uh. Woo! What a ramble. God damn, uh. baby. Mm. Please subscribe to it. Five star ratings, positive text review. Ramble Ooh. 366 is next. And we're going to do Charles Phillips. Who would win CP, a Chicago CP. street fight death match between all the family heroes? Oh. We're going to give our uh, toy or video game of the week. Okay. How's that, huh? And Spider-Man 2 will be out by then. I know. And then we are going to... We have a devil's advocate, Eddie. Okay. You and I, and maybe Cody's going to have to do homework if he's in on this. But we're going to defend. <laughs> you can't tell me there was a darker hour for this show <laughs> we're going to be defending the hall of fame villain oh garth knight from night oh. rider garth knight david hasselhoff with the mustache oh yeah 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 he had we car be, right that's part of my argue that's that's the tough he did yeah. not that's the really right he had goliath the big eight oh that's wheeler. right that's he did not right. have car I don't know. That might have made perfect fucking sense. Yeah. We'll talk about that. But, yeah, that's all next week. So you know where to find us. You know where to love us. We will be back Friday for a Ramble Radio. Mm. Until then, mm. stay safe. <laughs> These guys are running and shooting something else. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Ah. Ah.